Good evening, folks, and welcome to our virtual Dominion Energy Jazz Cafe. With some tunes, I've heard them warming up, and I'm excited to get to the concert and share that all with you. We welcome Al Campbell and Jazz Journey.
crust on bread and such You can help yourself But don't take too much Mama may hurt
skies a black hole high above you should a shooting star
shot in the shot too. <laughs> Can I tell y'all at home? You have to be born this smooth. You, can, you can't take lessons and learn this whole situation crashed down. This man said, oh, well, <laughs> who brought over here and kept that show going? That's professional. That's art. That's skill, each and every one of you. Yeah. Miss, yeah, that, that, we've got to talk to you sometime too, Mike. Right. Dr. Campbell, you got a minute for conversation? All right, All right, right over here. Well, Dr. Campbell, thank yes. you, sir, for bringing us that first set of music and for these five musicians on stage here with you thank tonight. You're welcome. Before we get into a little conversation about you and your music, would you take a moment to tell us something about yourself in your own words? Well, um, I've taught uh, public school music here in Richmond and Henrico mm. in Baltimore mm. County Public Schools for a little while. And um, just been working around town doing other things, you know, the gospel genre, the jazz genre, sometimes R&B. Right. <laughs> well, I hear all that coming through in the fingers tonight. Okay. Bless uh, you, Ed. Why, in the first place, are you a musician? Well, I didn't choose the music. Okay. It chose me. Okay. You know, it kind of claimed my life when I was a kid, you know, small kid teaching myself, didn't know I was teaching myself, <laughs> you know, and um, just snowballed effect. Um, then I found, I found out later that, you know, I had aunts who were recording artists. Okay. Yeah, I okay. didn't know that, okay. you know. You know, my parents on both sides were musicians and vocal musicians. So oh, wow. It's just like we were talking about earlier, how families, the talent runs in families. You know, I was thinking about you saying you teaching yourself but didn't know it. I remember being in my grandmother's home, just mm -hmm. messing around on her piano. Right. Learning, I, I remember, I remember, mm -hmm. I learned a G major scale. Mm -hmm. By myself, didn't know it was she major or anything, but I, I knew I did something. I showed Grandma. I was so proud. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh, your family were musicians as well. Did anyone play? Yeah. Mm hmm. My father played, and he also played accordion. Oh my God. Yeah, he played accordion, and which is very unique, you know. Yeah. Um, How did he get into that? You know, I really don't know. I think I heard him say once that um, there was a gentleman, uh, a blind man, who played that he, he knew and he was so impressed with it, he asked him to show him and he showed him how to play. He picked it up just like yeah, he that. He had a 32 bass oh. accordion, one of the big ones, you know? Yeah. And uh, he did it very well, you know? Of course, he had stopped playing by the time I was born. Right. But, you I know. don't even know where you get an accordion. <laughs> <laughs> right, 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 right. Couldn't find one if I needed. Yeah. Your education as a musician, you started teaching yourself as a young boy, three years old, mm -hmm. when did you first get in front of a teacher? Uh, I was 10, mm. you know, and then, um, you know, I did that and, you know, playing baseball started getting in the way, so okay. I stopped taking lessons and, okay. you know, picked them up later, you know, and then, of course, uh, I'm a G Virginia Union okay. music grad and, um, and um, went from there teaching here in Richmond. I have a lot of great educators in town, and a lot of great educators have made their way to the stage here. Mm -hmm. uh, tell me about some of the great lessons you learned developing your skill in front of your teachers. One of the greatest lessons I learned um, from, I would say, my jazz ensemble instructor, Professor Russell Wilson. Mm -hmm. he, um, he would always say, listen, listen. And, and, and just that one word, you know, he helped me to realize that there's a difference between hearing and listening. Mm -hmm. You know, and he would play something and say, okay, now you sit down and do it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Of course, it was impossible, but. I, I mean, <laughs> your training is tough. <laughs> you know, but it made you listen, you know. You've got to hear the part, you know, my, my mom would make me sing along with the orchestra parts so mm -hmm. that I could learn chord progression and right. learn to hear what's coming up, find right. the right mechanism, get that ear tune. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. a powerful lesson. Mm -hmm. What do you notice in your students uh, that they're gleaning from you? I mean, you glean something great there. Do you ever notice that spark in your students? Well, I do have some students who are really doing well. Some of them are still singing, you know, here and some have gone professional, you know, uh, other music and music majors, uh, Norfolk State. Um, mm. uh, one was at Shenandoah. Okay. And um, so, you know, that's the rewarding part, you know, to yes. run up on them and, you know, find out that they're still in it, you know. And then they say, well, you planted the seed. You know, I didn't know that. You know, I wasn't even going to do anything with it, you know. That, that's, that's 
a great educator really is something mm -hmm. special, I think, to, to all kids, but mm -hmm. particularly, especially the musician, the artist. Mm -hmm. When I came back to Richmond, the first thing I did was find my first teacher. See that. Start singing with her, play whatever she wants. Still, if she calls me, if she called me right now, this interview would be over and I'd have to go on stage. There you go, there you go. That education experience mm -hmm. is, is key. Mm -hmm. The guys on stage with you tonight, mm -hmm. how long have you been playing together with them? Um, well, let me tell you a little about, about, about Jazz Journey. Please. Okay, the original crew of Jazz Journey was myself, Carl Lester Eel, okay. um, and Kevin Lunsford. Okay. He's in Baltimore. Back, he went back home to Baltimore. Kevin was the bass player. Carl Lester was the drummer. And of course, I was on keys. Mm -hmm. Now, tonight, Carl Lester was on bass. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. He was on bass. <laughs> and um, then we on vocals. We had Mike Shiflett, yeah. who's been doing quite a bit of stuff in film and things in California and other places. Um, and of course, Brian Johnson, he's one of the local drummers who've just, you know, become very phenomenal. Mm -hmm. um, excellent, excellent player. And so this is the first time this combination, I've used this combination. Get out. Mm -hmm. This was the first time I used this group. Mm -hmm. Well, how? Forgive me, when you mm -hmm. got here, sometimes the groups rehearsed for a, quite a while. Okay. You all kind of went through a couple things and then you were ready to go. How are you so, so successful blending it together if this is the first go round? Well, um, what I did, I always send out a list. And everybody, I call it a listening list. Uh -huh. So everybody listens to the material. And in a case like this, um, we rehearsed at my house twice, Monday and Tuesday. Okay. Um, normally on the jazz scene, you just come show up and play, mm -hmm. you know, but this is a little more formal. So we actually went, and it was our first time using Mike on vocals. Right. Oh, really? Mm hmm Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now he yeah. killed it tonight. Yeah, the he's awesome, man. He's awesome. So Mike is on vocals, um, our first time together. Brian and I have worked together, and Carl and I have worked together mm -hmm. separately. You know, so this is the first time this particular combination. One uh, of my great influences as a vocalist features on your program tonight, Al Jarreau. Yes, yeah. that's why we did so many Al Jarreau tunes. <laughs> <laughs> because he's one of my favorites, right? He's great. Yeah. Oh man, you know, late great. Late you know, great. Late great. Yeah, and um, I mean, he, he was a phenomenal vocalist, man. A lot of lessons on uh, vocal flexibility is what I call it, mm -hmm. you know, uh, finding, finding those pockets. Mm -hmm. You know, there are some great scat singers, mm -hmm. he's certainly mm -hmm. one of them. Mm -hmm. How'd you pick the, or why did you pick his, the tunes of his that you picked tonight? There are so many, mm -hmm. what did you do these? Well, I, I was on a gig and, um, and I was working with a, a friend of mine and normally we just do instrumental, but did, mm -hmm. we did this particular gig and it was just a few months ago. And um, he said, we got a vocalist tonight. So, you know, of course, we all showed up to play, you know, no rehearsal. Right. And um, Mike walked up. Okay. You know, and so he, you know, walked up to the mic, you know, he pulled out his charts and we read through them. And uh, I said, you know, I like, the, I like his style, mm -hmm. you know. And um, so I said, man, look, if anything come up, I'm going to call you. <laughs> so the opportunity came, I called him. He was like, hey, man, you, re like, you really called. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I said, yeah, you know, but um, he does phenomenal improv, mm. as you probably heard, mm -hmm. you know. And then, you know, of course, like tonight, it's not like we came in here warmed up either. Right. You know, we came in cold, just set up and start playing. But um, you should hear him when he's warm. There you go. I mean, this mm -hmm. can't be the last time this happens. We never <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that piano doesn't get all that much love. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> but it's a beautiful, I like that instrument. Like Me too. I'm, I'm hoping, I'm, I'm glad for this opportunity to, to show it off on these cameras, but mm -hmm. to invite folks like yourself in mm -hmm. to make it sing. Okay. And, you know, ways okay. I can't make it sing. Mm -hmm. That's just for y'all. Uh, tell me about some of your favorite pieces to play at a piano. And, and is jazz where you, where you tend to stay? Um, yes. You know, I, I'm um, sorry that I didn't keep up my classical playing. But um, we have a tendency to lean towards the genres that's making us money, mm -hmm. where mm -hmm. the work is coming in. So I wasn't getting any classical work. That's right. So I didn't have a really zest to keep it up, you know. So I, I de dealt, used it a little bit after college, 
And then after that, you know, I, I was working during college. In fact, Carl Lester, who was on bass, him, I, Kevin Lunsford, um, we were music to get majors together at Virginia Union at okay. the same time. And that's how the three of us got together. Okay, they were you playing know. together that long. Mm -hmm. yeah, and Kevin and I had been playing together since the third grade. Oh my God. Yeah, wow. since the third grade. So when um, we formed Jazz Journey, you know, it was just the three of us, you know, and, and people loved us because we were like 23, yeah. you know, 24. <laughs> uh -huh. And we were playing like, you know, the more difficult tunes that the older cats were like not messing with. Uh -huh. You know, they were like, and them young boys playing, you know. <laughs> Bad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you, know, I'm, you know, I took a sabbatical for several years because I got burned out. Right. I was just doing it all the time. Yeah. From Sunday to Sunday to Sunday to Sunday. And that went on for about 15 years. So I just had to stop, man. So what you're hearing tonight is me trying to come back, you know. As much as we love the craft, it does, it wears on you sometimes, it does. you know. Yes. It's, it's a lot that goes into the performance. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And people think that just because we are playing instruments or we sing, they feel like, they think that we're always having a good time. And they always think that we feel like playing. Uh -huh. But it's like any other job. Yeah. Some days you don't feel like going That's to work, right. right? So it's the same with musicians, you know. But tonight I felt like playing, well, you know, I, which I is, like. you know, a good thing, mm -hmm. you know, because sometimes you kind of drag yourself on the gig, you tie it, you know. Even, and even when it's something you love to play or sing or, or perform, I've been there myself. Just mm -hmm. Here come that melisma again. Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. <laughs> Try to sing through to the end. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wonder, Al, what is the journey through jazz you're intending to take your audiences on? Well, our, uh, the reason why I came up with the name Jazz Journey is because Carl Lester Eel, he was on drums again, Kevin Lunsford was on bass. Because we gelled so much, dynamically we listened to each other. Mm. And wherever I go, they would be with me. Mm -hmm. Sometimes Carl would be on drums and he would take us somewhere. Mm -hmm or Kevin would take us somewhere and we just go with him. Mm -hmm. So we were on a journey and it's a more of a dynamic journey. Right. So you know, you know how, you know about dynamics. You know, it's not just like this all the time. You right. know, we are here, you know, and then we get up here and then, you know, we break it down and say, ah, yeah. you know, <laughs> uh -huh. you know, and the audience goes along with you, you know, cause they're going up with you. Mm -hmm. This is part of the journey, right? And then, you know, you break it down, you know, to a pianissimo from, yes. a, from a forte uh -huh. Double forte uh -huh. to a pianissimo, and the, when you get the pianissimo, then the crowd says, ah, "Yes, <laughs> you know." So it's a journey. It's a musical journey. When I'm leading a group, a, a band, I tell them we got to give the audience a break at some point. <laughs> right, <laughs> bring right. it down. Bring somebody. it down. That's right. That's right. That's right. We That's can't right. be all about the fire, right? Exactly. Now. Exactly. You got to has to has its up and downs, you know. Um, and so you know, it, it's it's it, you know the dynamics in music is really indicative of life. Mm. Up and down. Up and down. You know, some days we're up. <laughs> some days dynamically, we are pianianissimo. And that's a journey <laughs> on the day. <laughs> a bar and a truth and a journey. Mm -hmm. How do your fingers move so quick? Well, um, it, I guess it comes from, you know, early technique. You know, um, I was had some, you know, really crippled technique as a teenager, yeah, you know, yeah. but by the time yeah, I, you know, got to music school, I started, you know, once I, you get the fingering down, then um, it kind of loosens you up too, to, you know, do some things and move fast, you know. Yeah, that's a, um, that's the laziness I never broke. Oh. <laughs> my fingers are flat when I play and I, uh, I watch my hands, I think, I hope nobody's looking at this. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> They'll know uh -huh. my secret, I don't know what I'm doing. Right, right, <laughs> right, but hey, you know, a lot of times, um, when you're playing, you know, like tonight, it was a dynamic difference for me uh, because I hadn't been playing mm -hmm. the acoustic piano, you know. And so uh, playing the little virtuals, though, those plastic keys are not the same. No. <laughs> it's that, not the same. I didn't touch your keyboard uh, tonight, but if, if there's no weight on the key, I Not on these, no. I just can't play the instrument mm -hmm. then. I'm, yeah. I'm not, I don't have your skill. Mm -hmm. I have weighted keys at home on another keyboard. Mm -hmm. It's still not like that. It's still different. <laughs> yes. I mean, two different worlds, man. So, I, like, I had to get through two tunes tonight mm -hmm. just to get my fingers used to that action there. Every pianist on the other end of this screen knows exactly what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I yeah. play my best 
on the instrument, it, on, the, on the physical instrument. Mm -hmm. I've got my Yamaha mm -hmm. weighted keys and I'll take it if I've got to, but please have a piano. I, mean, I know. <laughs> I love I know. that. I love and one that's in tune. One that's in tune, One yes. that's in tune. This one, this one falls out sometimes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right yeah, yeah. I, when, all these grands with the wheels on them, mm -hmm. you know, that means you're moving them around a lot, right. so it's not going to always hold a tune. Hopefully yeah. one day we we get to just keep it right where it stays so it can stay mm -hmm. as perfect. Mm -hmm. When mm -hmm. you're picking your set list, is there a particular story that you're trying to tell or, or something that leads you to the, the folks you're representing or the words um, that Yeah, I kind of try to point the repertoire to the crowd I know I'm going to play to. Mm -hmm. um, we would, I would have done more contemporary tunes if um, I knew I was playing directly to, let's say, between 20 and 30. Right. You know. Um, but for the most part, you know, from my experience coming here to the cafe, you know, everybody's like 40 and over, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. you know, so that's why we stuck with those tunes. It's you know. the crowd that's coming to really hear that music. Mm, know, yeah, yeah. Live yeah. that life. Exactly, exactly. It makes them all uh, say, oh, you know, that reminds me of 1978. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I remember where I was when I heard that. <laughs> You know, that's you're not you're not lying. That's the right crew. Mm -hmm. yep. We're coming to the tail end of this difficult chapter in world history, during which I, as a musician, didn't know what I was going to do or if I'd ever be one again. Mm -hmm. um, how did you manage to get yourself through it? And did the music help you? Well, the music helps me um, in many ways. Um, one. I always keep a song in my heart. Mm -hmm. um, I hear music playing all the time. Right. That's why I don't ride with the radio in my car. I don't turn it on. I don't turn that on. You, you know? Me too. People come to my house and they say, where's the music? They think, as a musician, you're going to listen to music all the yes. time. You know. Oh, it distracts me. Yeah, sometimes I have tunes in my head and I can't stop it. Mm -hmm. and, and what makes it even more irritating, especially if it's a song I don't care for, and Come it's on, stuck in it. your head, you know, and you can't get rid of it, you know, you know. So sometimes you get to listen, turn the radio on just to get that out yes, your head. Preach you know? that. Yeah. Mm, but it's it's really a, a difficult thing, you know, from some time to time. But uh, I hope I answered the question somewhat. Yeah, I mean, mm. the keyboard player, singer, wind players. It was it was tough to think. I got to use all this breath. How am I going to do it? Mm -hmm. Uh, so I turned to the piano myself mm -hmm. to get myself through it. I didn't sing very much at mm -hmm. all. Mm -hmm. uh, I am now, mm -hmm. but the, mm -hmm. the piano, that music, right. was my medicine. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. And that's why we have music, uh, what is it, music therapy now? Yes. You know, music that's therapy. been going on since about 79. I didn't realize it was that long. Mm -hmm. That was, it started then, you know, they were trying to get us to major in uh, oh, really? music, uh, uh, what is it? Um, physical therapy, I music think, therapy. I remember them saying that to me, and I mean, I didn't get on the earth till '84, mm -hmm. but I remember in college someone bringing that up, and I thought, oh, mm -hmm. I'm trying to play music, huh? right? Be clinical yeah. with it. Mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. So that, that's what that's mm -hmm. what, but, but it, there it, are some great therapists out there using music. I don't want to. It's a healer. Yes, you know, it, it's a healer. You know, um, for the body and the soul. Sometimes. For the body and the soul. You know, and, and a lot of times I feel like, and this is just me, my thinking, I feel like people other than myself, particularly people who don't play mm -hmm. or don't sing, that they are healed by the music even more so, yeah. you know, yeah. because I can hear it all the time. Like I said, I can't turn it off sometimes, right. you know, but I think, you know, I, I watch them, you know, and they go, you know, in my mind, I, I agree with you. In my mind, I think it's because when I hear music, and maybe it's the same for you, I want to understand what I'm hearing. And so mm -hmm. I'm thinking about what key do I think this is in and what are things going to have? What's the meter? What's the rhythm? What, how's it going to go? I'm analyzing. I'm mm -hmm. seeing charts and diagrams in my head. But mm -hmm. for someone who doesn't know, maybe all they do is just feel the warmth mm -hmm. and the love and the ethos yeah. Yeah. take yes. over yes. for them. And they get to enjoy it. Yes. See, those of us who have been formally trained, we're doing just like what you said. Mm -hmm. Something comes on, we said, oh, that's E, e minor seven flat five, going to two, three, six, two, five, 
uh, here comes Dakota, mm -hmm. you know, like you hear a sonata and you like, you see sonata form in your head, yeah. you know, and you're not enjoying the music, you analyze it, you know, and it took me years to get out of that, man, I'm to struggling. just sit back and enjoy. I'm struggling with that even now. I've got some performances I'm getting ready for and man, I'm trying to work on it, but I'm diagramming and I'm teaching, mm -hmm. <laughs> gotta get back to the love of it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Find somebody who doesn't know to help me get there. Right. <laughs> You know, sometimes it, you have to make yourself do it, you know. Well, speaking of that healing, that musical healing, we've got yes. another set of music out of you. Would you mind giving us a little more medicine? Sure. All right. Thank you, folks. All right.
Mr. Dickie Never knew how to buy see Hand me down books and shoes They brought the June tides in July I rode a bus, a train sometimes Strolling for miles to a movie show Singing a song, Scooby Dooby While birds and rich folks flew down on but we got by We got by We got by Lord knows we got by Winter wishes will till June You brighten July With that hot dog bone Tell your mama your wish Say I do Instead my first man child in the eye We got by We got by We got by no Lord We got by Don't need to escalate. 
you see Who hold it down to answer Hope only love can conquer hate You know we've got to find a way To bring some love in here today yeah. Oh, Vicky Lines And Vicky Lines no punish me with brutality Come on, talk to me So you can see Oh, what's going on? What's going on? I'll tell you what's going on Oh, what's going on? I fall and the beauty of it all when the sun comes shining through. When I 
get those rainbows in my mind And I think of you sometime I want to spend some time with you Just the two of us We can make it if we try Just the two of us Just the two of us Just the two of us Building in castles in the sky Just the two of us You and I We look for love, no time for tears Wasted water's all that is It don't make no flowers grow Good things might come to those who wait Not to those who wait too late We gotta go for all we know Just the two of us We can make it if we try Just the two of us Just the two of us Just the two of us Building in candles in the sky Just the two of us Well, that's the jazz journey, Dr. Al Campbell. Thank you, gentlemen, for bringing it to us one more time, keeping it hot. Thank you for the ride.
B.J. Brown. There you are over here. Thank you for sending us such fine musicians as you do week after week to help us support this program we put on with the help of Dominion Energy. Thank you for your part in making this all happen. These two guys behind cameras, thank you. Remember Tommy Productions. Chris is still up in that booth. We thank him. Those of you at home, thank you for loving with us. Thank you for listening to us. And thank you for learning from us in Richmond, Virginia. From the Virginia Museum of Fine Arts on the Leslie Cheek Theater stage, this has been our virtual Dominion Energy Jazz Cafe. I'm Robert Fennard. Good night.